Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you the brand new Figma to Webflow plugin that's gonna save us all a ton of time when we're building our websites in Webflow. Let's get right into it. All right, so in this video, I wanna do three things. Firstly, I wanna show you how you can install this plugin inside your Figma account. Secondly, I wanna show you the two best ways to design in Figma that allows for the most seamless integration into Webflow. And then lastly, I just wanna throw in a few bells and whistles, show you how you can add classes and HTML tags in Figma and transfer that on copy into your Webflow website. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you today is how we're going to install this inside our Figma account. So go set up a Figma account, go set up a Webflow account, obviously. Once you have that set up, we're gonna to come to this link right here, which will be down in the description below. And we're just gonna hit this button right here, try it out. All right, this is gonna open Figma for us into our account, and we're gonna get this little plugin window that pops up. I'm gonna click Run. And just like that, over here, we have our beautiful window loading. All right, I'll hit Got It. Then I'm gonna hit Next, Next, and then I'm gonna connect my account. All right, so I'll hit Connect Account. That will launch Webflow. I'll choose which website I want to connect to. In this case, I'll use this one. I'll hit Authorize App. And just like that, we are successfully linked. So I'll close out of this. I'll go back to Figma. And I'll just hit Let's Start. And boom, our plugin is launched and good to go. It's just that simple. Now, the first way that you can use this Figma to Webflow plugin is to do everything manually. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have a section here. I'm going to add a frame right here. And then inside that frame, I'm gonna add a text box, okay? I'm just gonna say Figma to Webflow plugin. Now, the most important thing for you to know when using this Figma to Webflow plugin is that in order for things to copy over to Webflow accurately and correctly, you have to be using auto layout inside of Figma. Otherwise, it won't transfer over to Webflow. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna to come to my frame here. We have this little button here called auto layout. So I'm gonna hit it. And then you can see I can choose to auto layout vertically or horizontally, all right? And so if I expand my frame again here, you can see that I can now move my text box around inside of my frame with this auto layout feature right here, okay? Now, this is very similar to Webflow's Flexbox, which makes sense for why we need to be using auto layout if we want everything to copy over to Webflow accurately. Now, the downside of this is that when I copy over to Webflow, this is not a responsive design across all breakpoints, all right? At every breakpoint inside of Webflow, we will have to tweak things and make sure it looks good on tablet and mobile and things like that. Now, the second way we can use this Figma to Webflow plugin is automatically responsive across all breakpoints inside of Webflow after we copy it over. That's why it's my preferred method, all right? So let me show you that process right now. All right, so I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to launch my Figma to Webflow plugin. And you can see right here on the front page, there's a bunch of different pre-made layouts we can use inside of Figma. So if I just click nav logo left here, I get a nav bar. Boom, just pops right up. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll add a hero heading left. And I can just connect that up. And I can just kind of sit here and start building my website and making little tweaks here to the colors and the backgrounds and whatever. So maybe I'll add some logos. And then maybe I'll add, a, a, I don't know, testimonial columns and then a footer at the end. So I'll just build out a little website here, just like this, add a footer. And just like that, we have a nice little base for our design, all right? So watch this now, watch this magic. If I wanna copy this nav bar over to Webflow, well, remember, it has to be auto layout, which these pre-built templates are, because it's already auto laid out. So all I have to do is launch my plugin, I then have to choose any auto layout frame to copy. So I'll choose this nav bar. Okay. I'll choose the Webflow site that I want to paste to. And then I'll hit copy to Webflow. And then I'll come to Webflow. And with my body selected, I'll just command V. And just like that, I have a beautiful nav bar right here inside of Webflow. Just like that. Same thing here. Hero heading left. Copy to Webflow. Come right back here and paste it in. Boom. And I can go all the way down the list here. You can see if I grab this and change my background color to red or something, and then I launch my plugin and copy to Webflow, it carries all of our design right into Webflow. So I have a nice red background here. 
The other thing I love about this, which I just mentioned a couple minutes ago, is that these pre-built layouts are fully responsive at different breakpoints. So if I come to tablet, you can see it's a fully responsive layout. If I come to mobile, boom, it's fully responsive. It's beautiful at all breakpoints, which that first process, the manual process, it was not. So if you're a Figma beginner like I am, well, I would just use these pre-built layouts until you get the hang of it, until you know how to use auto layout inside of Figma, and then just tweak these designs as you need, and then copy straight into Webflow. If you can get really good at this, you can save yourself a ton of time by combining the design and development process into one step by using this plugin. It's pretty sick. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you is a couple cool bells and whistles. I wanna show you how we can copy over classes from Figma to Webflow, and also how we can add HTML tags inside of Figma to copy to Webflow automatically, all right? So general rule of thumb is whatever we have named our little elements over here is going to be the class that is copied over into Webflow. So for example, if I wanna rename this uh, Alex class one test, just for fun, just so we can see it, and I wanna change this title to testimonial class Alex, and then I copy this all again with my plugin, and we come into Webflow and paste it into my body. Well, we can see that our div here now is Alex class one test and our text header is testimonial class Alex. So that's how you can bring classes from Figma to Webflow automatically. Now it's essentially the same with HTML tags. So for example, I can come here and give this little header right here an H2 tag or an H3 tag or an H1 tag, whatever I need. And I can give this paragraph here a paragraph tag, right? And so when I copy this over, we can see that those tags are transferred automatically into Webflow. And this helps with things like SEO and, and everything like that. All right, so I come back here, I paste this in again. We can see that this right here is an H1 and this right here is a paragraph. So that's how you can add classes and HTML tags inside of Figma and copy them over to Webflow automatically. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and got a lot of value out of it. I really think that if we can use and harness the power of this Figma to Webflow plugin, we can really save ourselves a ton of time when we're building on our websites going forward. So if you like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get down there as soon as I can to help you out. Thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.